Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the scorching hot deserts of Nita. I am Der Heizmeister, and this is episode 28 of the Ashes of the Empire Corp campaign with Damadog. So, I'm here in the designer, and um, the vehicle that you are seeing now is the Bug Zapper. Uh, this, there's a good reason for that, because um, a viewer by the name of Random Junk asked me if I could show how this um, asymmetrical turret of the Bug Sapper is made up, um, because he wants to know how do you um, yeah, set up a laser to work on a secondary turret, so meaning a turret that is attached to another turret. Um, all right then, so here you go. This is the laser assembly, you know, just a, your standard laser. Um, then the laser beam gets um, put into here and then directed towards the turret base. This is the turret base of the main turret. And inside this um, main part of the turret, the main body of the turret, uh, the laser is then um, projected to a point where it can be projected through the base of the second turret, you know, like like this. Um, and this second turret um, is then connected to uh, another laser transceiver and to the laser, um, what's it called? I think the laser combiner, yeah, the main um, main block for a weaponized laser system. And that's basically it. Um, this is how it works. So basically let the laser beam run through the turret bases and connect those turret bases with um, uh, basically laser transceivers here. Now oh, there's the transceiver here and the transceiver here. In this turret the laser beam can move freely in um, every direction you want to project it. So um, although the turret turns around this axis here, uh, the laser beam can still project it towards this back section and then into the secondary turret. So uh, another thing I would like to add is that um, this secondary um, turret, this attached turret block, can actually clip through the hole. Um, them and I tried to avoid this as much as possible by placing the secondary turret block on the back so that basically um, larger part of this turret uh, only um, well, turns upward. It elevates uh, rather than a larger back section of this turret uh, clipping all the way through the hole. And we have uh, limited the elevation of this turret as well. Yeah, I hope, uh, dear random junk, this has helped you greatly in setting up um, these laser turrets um, for your own and now I would like to say we'll go right into the campaign. However, uh, damn it, I have encountered a slight problem uh, with Ashes of the Empire. It seems that um, one day the multiplayer for support for these uh, older versions uh, has ceased. Unfortunately, Dem and I could not set up a server. We both tried to host the server. We both failed to join. We had um, Ion in the channel, I think, and he tried to join and host. It did not work. So uh, we concluded that the multiplayer support has been discontinued, which uh, kind of puts a dampener on a multiplayer, multiplayer campaign. Uh, so Dem and I have found a workaround. Um, I will host the campaign in a single player setting and stream um, my view from the campaign uh, via Discord while Demma is in the same Discord channel. I know this is not perfect, but uh, a workaround. Um, I hope I can. Yeah, I hope we can manage with this. Anyway, enough talking. Uh, random junk, there you go. This is the bug zapper. Um, I hope. You've learned something, <laughs> and let's get into the campaign. All right, let's kick some ass then. Indeed. Let's and that's the main reason out. why I uh, like the current stable version, actually. 
Moving out. Because uh, uh, the fuel and ammo changes hadn't taken Moving place out. yet. Uh, yeah. On my way. I'm sorry, but Nick's post on that, it just felt like he was trying to take the lazy way out because you mentioned Lifting. the word work how many Moving times out. in that? Receiving. Moving. Uh, I don't know. I haven't read the whole post. I have read, um, I mean, I have Basically. read the opening post, but not the whole uh, thread, yes. what other people had to way. say. Well, the yes. original post, uh, he made it sound like it was just going to be a huge pain in the ass. So. Listening. I mean, it's, it's not like I don't yes. understand on the current, way. I mean, the, the new resource system. Listening. It's just that I cannot Moving see out. the logic behind it for changing yes. the resource system as it way. was. On my way. I totally get uh, that. Oh, there's the Trinidad headquarters. Kind of the mindset of uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? Yeah, I've, I've heard this uh, many times. Yes, on my way. Okay, we have two smaller. Okay, not so small. One small and one larger force we could engage. Which yes, one should we on engage first? Listening. Moving out. Um, Let's take care of the one to the north first. Okay, just making. Oh, did we ever clear that tile that's south of the uh, that no, spot there? No, I think we never did. Yes, on my okay. way. But we do it's have a like few forces here do, right? in reserve. A speed lifting. Yeah. There we go. Lifting, moving out. Yes. Uh, yeah, so I guess it's time to clear this yes, one then. On my way. Okay. Yes, on my way. I mean, we have enough forces to do so. Oh, by yeah. the way, completely forgot one thing. Again. Ugh. No, a bit too loud. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Yes, on my way. Uh, yeah, this should be easy. Yes, on my way. Yes. yes. Okay, Air Force. Our Lehman Rust tanks. Lifting. Uh, three Valkyries. Do we need I anything else? Each other there. Wait. It looks like they're kind of bunched up there. Yeah, they're, they're a bit close. Very much bunched up. Okay, I was just worried they might collide with each other when they spawn in. Uh, those might collide with yes. with each other here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think this should uh, should yes. suffice. Actually, let's get the Phantom Lords in as well. Well, we're not going to be short on block count. That's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, we are outnumbering the enemy in terms of block count. Or is that volume? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's volume. I do think we're kind of at a point in the game where we got enough forces we could just raffle stomp the rest of the map if we want. Mm, maybe, possibly. I'll just take a seat on a storm tiger and let's do this. Oh, a little like bounce. A bit. Yeah. There we go. All forces are operational. And the Valkyrie gunships on the field as well. Okay, that's what I want to see. Actually, uh, I think we can ignore the flyer for now. This one has lasers. This needs There's to be in a. Was there. Uh, yeah, I think so. This one needs to be a priority target. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. 
Are those missiles? No, no, no. Um, those are radar gun. I'm guessing he probably launched a deep movie or something to make him do that. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. Uh, let's see what will last longer, the decoy or the missiles. Uh, why are they coming back? Uh, we got I two no Valkyries idea. down. And Phantom Lords are closing in. Finally. I wonder how those things would be in current version if uh, you put like the sniping. Um... Oh, the sniping lens for packs. Yes. Uh, I think they would be quite useful. I think the Phantom Lord would work um, fantastically in the uh, current version. Might be worth looking into. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, against the Twin Guard. Engaging now. Uh, I think they should um, attack aircraft first. Please scratch that. There's an aircraft right here. Engaging now. I guess we don't have any. Uh, what blash tanks in the. Uh, no, unfortunately not. Okay. Boy. Uh oh. Ah, a little bit of ramming damage. Okay, the Cleric is down. Uh, the Rend has been completely annihilated. Engaging now. All that's left is this Irritation here that's... Um, well, picking apart it's our Valkyrie gunships. Yeah, it's, it's being irritating. That is very much true. It's having a bit of a lean. Oh. Maybe I gotta pull one of them so they don't like completely destroy each other. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe just turn one off. That could potentially work too. Turn the right one off. Wait, chance have you had a chance to look at that ramming crap that I sent you a couple of days ago? Uh, unfortunately not yet, no. Okay. I got it to where it can work against sea and land targets, but I don't think it'll work in current because it's got a bunch of internal deadly blades. But Listening. Uh, internal it's pretty nasty. deadly blades actually work. They still work without uh, oh, okay. uh, contact to air or access to air. Uh, oh. But uh, there are the new ducts that are quite quite useful. I've um, taken a habit to using them ever so often for flyers, airships, and sometimes even uh, normal waterborne vessels. Okay. I'd say he's super dead. Yep. Like Cor's Lupercal dead. <laughs> Didn't he get his um, soul completely annihilated? By the Emperor, yes. Yeah. So he will probably never come back. Yes. Yeah, Emperor had to do it if I remember correctly because he was afraid that Chaos Calvary. would take um, Horus back and yeah. Oh. But to be fair, um, most of the Primarchs had the daddy issues. Yes, um, I've heard several times, uh, Lionel Johnson sounds like he's, uh, somewhere on the autism spectrum. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Lehman Ooh. Russ, um, how, how would be the best way to just describe it? He's just a space viking, I mean, let, yeah. let's be honest. He likes to party, yes. fight, and party some more. And maybe drink a lot. Targeting. Yes. Targeting. Um, Gilliman, I'm not quite sure if he has too many flaws. 
but then again, I, what I know of him, it probably isn't that much. He seems to be kind of the template that they judge all the rest of the uh, prime marks on. I see our sniper tanks on back there. Oh yeah, they are. Where are they? Oh, uh, no, that's that's a basilisk. No, oh, okay. They are probably somewhere. I was uh, talking about a war pig. Uh, the war pig oh, well, is. Never mind, that's not a war pig. In that's another your, forest. Uh, this is my jackpot site. Yes. My sniper tank. That has a very long reload, but ejectors in the back, so it doesn't blow again, itself up. Uh, I don't know, actually. I've never tested it. No, I mean, is it pure kinetic damage? Uh, no, no, it's a um, hash, I think. Okay. I built this so long ago, I, I forgot what I uh, load the gun with. Uh, okay, they are repairing one another that is engaging now. Unacceptable and loud. No, I do have something similar to, uh, to your dev path through there. Um, it fires like eight meter long shells. Ouch, deadly. They go with a quick refit that could uh, be made to use in our campaign here. Hmm. With an eight meter long shell, that gives us a lot of versatility we can use. And it's a uh, rail assistant. It's not the White Death, isn't it? No. No. Oh, okay. Because the White Death I is actually on the field. I believe they called it a Super Stug or something of that effect. Hmm. I would like to have a look at this blueprint. Let's see if we can implement it here in the campaign. Um, preferably versus the Onyx Watch. Yes. Uh, like I said, it might take. It's going to take a little bit of prettying up and. Um, yeah, oh. it, it's fairly plain looking, but it's super strong. I tried to get an 8 beater shell to work in Ashes of the Empire, that's <laughs> that's no small task, as I'm sure you're aware of. No, no especially with uh, the volume constraints. Mm -hmm. uh, and another target presents itself. Yeah, we're definitely not short on targets. No, definitely not. Not with the Twin Guard involved. But this one apparently didn't have, didn't even have a chance to fire its weapons. It um, disintegrated a little bit. Yeah. Those things... That was probably the well, longest I had to spend on taking out a single faction in my 2.4.9 LP. Oh yeah, Twin Guard are... Um, they're kind of hard, they're just extremely annoying because they have yes. repair spam on everything. That's it. They are not uh, dangerous or, well, hard to deal with. I mean, yes, they are hard to deal with because they are annoying, not dangerous. Mm -hmm. Same for the uh, lightning hoods, actually. The lasers are dangerous and they are one-hit wonders, um, but those uh, new um, hydrofoils that the lightning rods have, they are uh, very annoying actually. Unless you have a uh, have an even stronger laser that hasn't been taken out by the initial burst they have fired, which is quite strong. Listening, moving out. Well, then you may have a chance to catch them. Or, well, a particle accelerator cannon on a submarine. Receiving, moving. Receiving, moving. That would be Moving. yeah. That would be a hard counter. Um, a pack Moving on a submarine out. with yes. smoke and on shields. Yes, mm. That'd be one way to go about Lift it, me. or just another Moving thruster out. craft that has an insanely good uh, laser shielding and smoke. Oh yeah, probably that. The lasers I put on my yes. uh, new airship, though, they can do like tons of damage. It's got they got like a four second cooldown. Yes. And, um, on my way. Yeah, they just pretty much punch holes through everything because they got yes. like 200 AP. Yes. 
on my way. It doesn't give a shit about smoke or heavy armor or anything. Flip me, moving out. Oh yeah, speaking of laser. Uh, do you have a blueprint Flip for this airship? I could uh, play a bit a little bit with. Moving out. Ah, thank you. Flip me. Oh, moving yeah. out. looking forward to it. Get that over to yeah, you. on my way. Yeah. Um, and. I am actually looking at the laser of uh, the Thunder God, moving out, and I'm thinking um, about having it uh, run continuously uh, at a lower power level. Yes, but it doesn't need to recharge. Hmm. So you rework the laser a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I I have more than enough engine power now available, and I need to. Um, figure out if it is worth the trade-off. Lower damage for a longer endurance. Moving out. Lifting. Moving I out. mean, if it still can one hit, uh, one shot a heavy a heavy armor block, then I'm, yes, on my way. I'm uh, pretty much satisfied. Well, sometimes I kind of wish yes, I would have positioned the, uh, the, the laser on it Lifting. somewhere Moving else, out. because it seems like uh, with it being centralized, going down the middle like that, it's just too vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Lifting, moving out. I probably would have put the laser lifting, moving or, uh, firing pieces on like the left and right sides if I were to redo it. Lifting, or maybe on the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then again, the Thunder God lifting. is just uh, one large moving Decker out. thrower. Lifting, moving out, mm -hmm. moving out. Lifting. Moving out. Okay, I think we're ready. Yes. All right. Oh, it's yes. oh no no. Sign of the hammer hammer has to be yes. up front. Yes. On uh, my way. That was a very fun build though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Moving is it out. is it on a workshop actually? Yes, I did put Receive. that on the workshop here very uh, recently. Yes. On my way. Nice. Uh, yes. Carry on. Yes. Should have. Oh, I think we forgot to um, adjust a few resource settings. Yes. Uh, wait. Uh, small oh, okay. custom jet engines do not exist in this version. No, they do not. Or do they? Oh no. That's a shame. Yes. Oh well. Listening. That's fine. Zipper Zerka. Um, is it an aircraft? Oh Lifting. no, it's not fully built yet, is it? Uh, the Berserker? Uh, that's just an upgraded uh, version of the way of Vikings. Oh, okay. So, uh, here's a picture Lifting. I'm going to send to you the Super Stug. I'll look at it in a moment. Yeah, yeah. no rush. I just thought you want to see what I had planned. Yes. That's one long barrel. Yes. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good too. Oh yeah. Listening. So um against the Onyx watch then. Listening. Or maybe is it um it's it's a hard hitting uh sniper unit, right? It's pretty much a hard-hitting sniper unit. I mean, Listening. I think it just needs to be prettied up a bit before it's uh, YouTube-worthy, but it's going to yes. be a very, very powerful tank to have, in any yes. case. Mm. Oh, I forgot something. I wanted to There's deploy a new recording. unit. Receiving. I totally forgot to deploy a new unit on this... Uh... Recording session here. Uh, are you talking about the uh, missile launcher one that we worked on last yes, time? Yes, this one. Yes. I hope you're able to test it in 2.4.9. Uh, one way to find out. Alright, trial by fire it is. Uh, but first, better time. And our hover tank is getting lasered instantly. This is um, yeah, no, no. bad, very bad. All tanks focus fire on 
the annoyance. Targeting. Devastators as well. Uh, I have um, given them target priorities, but better make sure they engage the um, Targeting. the right enemy. Yeah. Unfortunately, our little hover tank here is uh, taking quite a beating. And I also sent you a uh, copy of the Man of War airship there, so ah, feel free to great. take a look at those at your convenience. I will. Okay, is everything deployed? like a yes to me. I think for our next um, build session we could uh, build this support vehicle with lamps, ECM, flares. Um, because the lightning hoods and the white flares will make um, use of missiles in large numbers. I think all we would really need is something that just kind of circles the battlefield and probably just launch a very large decoy, just straight up. Yeah, something like that. But it has to be a hovercraft, so that we don't have any um, issues with terrain. That shouldn't be hard to do. We just have it set up a PID to uh, look for changes in terrain, I think we'll be alright. Something got. Tank got busted apparently. Whoops. Is that the little one? Yeah, that's uh, one of those. My first ever tank I built. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm still using this. Oh. So much for the Devastator. If this one is uh, destroyed, we won't have any problems. I'm going to pull this one in favor of fun. Mm, there we go. Sign of the Hammer Rammer is up next. Did you just yeah, see, yeah, well, see that? I think what happened is the um, what's it called the uh, docking station. Oh, well, we got to take it out on its original chassis and it just bumped it off. I've seen it happen a few times. They switched on Nordaya uh, engage in a repair triangle. I have no other way to call it. <laughs> it is... Ah, dreadful. Um, any other forces? Oof, I gotta get the hell knocked out of him. Yes, it is uh, super dead now. I think I pulled this tank, did I not? Um, I guess not. Hmm. Anyway, tank is that about? oh yeah, the bug zapper. It is uh, very, very useful. Um, we. We do have one particle accelerator cannon unit, and it's the Phantom Lord. Yeah, it's it's more than enough, I think. What do we end up naming that thing? The Lazy Boy Mark III or some crap like that? Uh, the Buck Zapper. Buck Zapper, okay. Yeah, since that's pretty much its job. Sorting annoying flying uh, insects. And there's the fun. Not going very fast though. Um, does it have fuel? Mm, yes, it does. It, oh yeah, it it's uh it has lost its AI. Oh, I'm on it now and repairing. 
is probably something we have to look into. Um, yes. Yeah, um, that thing's got like very strong frontal shielding and uh, hit the front of, behind the uh, rams it should be mostly heavy armor so I don't know maybe it just took a nasty heat run to the face. Or maybe EMP? Or have you used no, such protectors? I EMP would have done it because uh, if the heavy armor would have absorbed a lot of that uh, EMP damage. Or maybe it received friendly fire. You know, That's like. A possibility as well. Just happened. <laughs> uh, there we go. Super dead. Liberated uh, the paladin from its torso. Or maybe not. Probably I'm putting it. Yeah, but um, I really would like to target this laser. Yeah. The centaur here. No, wait, it's a male torso with a centaur mothership. <laughs> That's one hell of an amalgamation. Okay, speaker I think Lord. your devastator. Oh, kind of doing a death spiral there. Yeah. But at least he's keeping the laser occupied. Oh, not anymore. Sword in the wind. Yeah, sword in the wind. Yeah, now know. being lasered from two different enemies. And this one is more dangerous, since it's bigger. Uh, boom. Bam. <laughs> there we are, yeah. Yeah, completely destroyed. You know what's this? Uh, what, what this needs? A ramming vehicle needs harpoons that are fired out backwards, so that it can drag its uh, unfortunate victim behind. Should there be anything mm. left? I think you might be under something. Oh no. Oh. It looked like all it did though was knock off a couple of mimic blocks there. Oh, so nothing to worry about. Nah, I just used mim mimics to make that inlay look a little bit better. Oops. But yeah, I mean, in ashes, this would work since uh, units being dragged along the ground take a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. oh. Downside to this is uh, FTD doesn't like to calculate uh, ramming damage and collision damage in general. Yeah, it would lag like hell. However, it would be very effective. I assume. Hey, is that uh, our bug zipper out there? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was a PAC or a laser there. Targeting. Actually, I can tell it to target. Um, the centaur. Yes. Tank here as well. Although I don't think it's gun is. No, it's gun isn't hasn't been fully built yet. Oh, anyway, here comes the hammer. And that's curtains for this one. My guide. <laughs> Where where's it brought from? That torso has got to be dead after that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's like nothing left of it. Yeah. Actually, you are annoying. <laughs> that was uh, unexpected that those twin guard mechs would just swap torsos and bodies. <laughs> just, yeah. just kit bash together a new unit. <laughs> uh. The. Uh, Face fisted rammer I sent you. Uh, that thing goes even faster than the sign of the hammer. I got it to go about 96 meters a second. It's nasty as hell, too. 
Oh boy, even more impact damage then. Mm -hmm. Actually, that reminds me, have you ever experimented with drills? Um... Yes? Not really, How but I, I know Ion Mark III has experimented with a bunch of it in the past, but it just never really seemed that viable of a way to go about it. Yes? Targeting. Um, I think the durability of has been significantly improved. I just never got a random plane with it. Oh, okay. Because uh, I am planning to construct a, a drill torpedo in Funny you current say that. beta. Uh, remember the melee uh, drill that I made, right? Or the yeah. Melee torpedo. Yeah, I do. Yeah, um, I uh, sent it to a YouTuber and um, yes. he ended up you putting the uh, drill cutting head on the front of it, and it was a uh, it was a bit more impressive after that. Really? Um, yes, it seemed like it was doing better trying to take out a megalodon than the original cutting head was. With a drill, okay. I mean, the only um, concern I have is getting the engine power for this drill head to work. Somehow he managed to pull it off. He didn't exactly show how he did it, but it's definitely possible. Well, I'd be very I interested think, in this one. I think I put a link uh, of his video in the announcements. Oh. I gotta look out for this one then. Oh wait, so. is he, um, is this the guy called Andrew Stormer? Yes. That's the ah, alright, alright, yeah, I, I know him. Yeah, I will make sure I watch this video. Because this has always um, been a concern of mine, that a, a torpedo has too, um, well, that's not enough um, kinetic energy for ramming attacks. But the drill compensates for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, we have uh, yes. one. On my way. Again. Yes. On my way. Now, nice. no more delays. Uh, we need to spawn in something. How about... Oh, where is it? Ah, where did I save this missile launcher? The one that we worked on last time? Yeah, I, I have the guidance satellite here. But I Can you don't have... Can for a moment or two while I get something to drink? Yes, I'll wait. Sorry. 